The National Space Club is well known for the Goddard Memorial Dinner, an annual gala attracting more than 2,000 leaders in the defense and aerospace industry. The proceeds of this dinner, along with the support of our corporate members, help support our youth education initiatives. Hi, I'm Monica Katzen. I just graduated from Long Reach High School and I'll be going to University of Maryland College Park in the fall. My project is synthesizing graphene and graphene is one atomic layer of carbon. It's considered a wonder material because of all the various properties it has. And I'm growing it using something called chemical vapor deposition. We have a low pressure, high temperature furnace and then we flow gases in and the graphene grows on a copper foil substrate. The bigger picture of this project is trying to figure out how to control the number of layers of graphene grown. And by controlling the parameters, I can control some of the properties of graphene, so it can be used in various space applications too. Well, this internship really helped me. I found out that I'm actually really interested in engineering. Moodo's really helped me learn how to, how to work like, with a team. So I've learned how to do some independent research and everything, and then work with other people to make a bigger project. One of the reasons why I joined the National Space Club is the club's support of youth education. We can't thank our members enough for their generous support for such a worthy cause. One of my favorite times of the year is attending the Youth Scholars Luncheon. These students remind me of the reasons I entered the aerospace field. Their energy and passion is inspiring and contagious. Hi, I'm Matthew Davis, and I go to McDonald's School in Owings Mills, Maryland, and I'm a rising senior. Uh, hi, I'm Marvin Kasari. I'm also a rising senior at Seneca Valley High School at Germantown, Maryland, and I'm a National Space Club scholar. We're both working on the uh, ATD CubeSat project. Uh, in the CubeSat project, uh, we are developing a hyperspectrometer, which is destined to um, capture an image of foliage and spread out the wavelengths of it to create science data that scientists are able to use at NASA. Alongside the CubeSat stuff, we also worked on our ham radio skills. I got my general class license and Marvin got his technician's class license. We've set up a little demonstration to show ourselves catching some satellites using our antenna. Uh, today we're about to track several satellites, probably in the next 15 minutes. Uh, the opportunity is for the SO50 satellite, which should be around at 2.31 p.m. And we, shall, we should be able to receive telemetry from that satellite. My name is Julia Hun, and I was a Space Club Scholar in 2008 and then again in 2010. Currently, I'm studying mechanical engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'll be graduating this upcoming May. The first time I was here, I was in the mechanical systems analysis and simulation branch. And what I got to do there was, uh, it was a programming project, and so I got to model the venting of the SAM instrument suite on the Mars Science Laboratory and just to make sure it wouldn't overpressurize during launch. And one really cool experience from that internship was I got to actually go into the clean room to check out the SAM instrument suite and get all suited up in a bunny suit and everything. Before becoming a Space Club Scholar, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I grew up. I knew I liked math and I knew I liked science, but apart from that, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So coming here, I learned a lot more about what engineering was like and what uh, different jobs in the STEM fields were like. And so that's kind of what led to me studying mechanical engineering in college right now. My advice would be to take as many math and science classes as you can and to be as involved as you can in STEM related activities and apply to programs like the National Space Club Scholars Program. It'll give you experiences and help you build a good foundation for a future STEM related job. My name is Rohan Panous. Uh, I'm a National Space Club Scholar uh, at uh, Goddard Space Flight Center interning at the Innovation Lab. I'm a rising senior at Thomas Jefferson High School in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, I'm working on the Innovation Lab and uh, there's a lot of progress going on in here, um, but I mainly work on a robotic arm. I'm doing uh, electronic software controls for the robotic arm, uh, a lot of uh, hardware integration and interfacing, so we're actually where the software meets the hardware in order to control the robotic arm. And it's going to basically map out this surface over here, and we're going to detect objects so the robot can essentially autonomously uh, detect where the objects are, pick it up, and move them. So that's our ultimate goal, and we have, uh, we have other demonstrations over here with, um, with depth coordinates and uh, the pixel values. 
Each year, with the help of our donors, we send nearly 40 high school students for internships at Goddard Space Flight Center and Wallops Flight Facility for a six-week internship program. Students get the chance to truly explore, learn, and be part of the NASA culture. My name is uh, Kenny Getzendanner. I was a National Space Club Scholar in 2005 and 2006. Currently, I'm an aerospace engineer in the Navigation and Mission Design Branch at uh, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. But what the Space Club Scholars Program afforded me was the opportunity to actually try out a couple different uh, career types. Um, I got to try out robotics and engineering, mechanical engineering, um, and eventually explore other opportunities by talking to scientists and engineers that were on center. Thank you so much for giving us the chance to come here. Uh, we're very thankful for having had this experience to work at NASA. Uh, special thanks to the National Space Club Scholars who provided this opportunity and uh, provided us with this uh, internship. And we're uh, so grateful to have had this awesome experience. It's completely out of this world. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.